Now we're going to look at a way to find points that are part way between two other points. So, first of all, let's start with points in one dimension. Again, Mr. Tran starts jogging at mile marker 243. He's practicing for the marathon. A friend is going to pick him up at mile marker 255, and he wants to take a break two-thirds of the way. Where should he take a break? Where, what, what mile marker? So first of all, the thing we should do is find out how far is he jogging. And I'm using the distance formula from before. The distance is 255 minus 243, or 12 miles. Now I'm going to take two-thirds of the distance. Now the way you take two-thirds of something, or any fraction of something, is you multiply by the fraction. So here I have two-thirds times 12. The easiest way is to actually kind of make a little 1 under here on your whole number. So 2 times 12 is 24. 3 times 1 is 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8 miles. And then add 8, so we're going to take the 8 miles, miles, that's how far he needs to go. And we're going to add that to his starting point, which is 243. So we get 251. So he needs to take a break at mile marker 251. So let's take a look at the general case in one dimension. So first of all, I want to define some things. This is not really on your math chart. It should make sense, and you should be able to recreate this. So one of the things is we need a beginning coordinate, and I need a distance. So that I'm going to keep the distance d between the beginning and the ending coordinate. The beginning coordinate is x of b. I'm just making that up to keep it simple. x of b, b is for beginning. So you can probably guess what the ending coordinate is, x of e. Now I'm going to have to come up with something to stand in for a fraction of a distance, because it's not always going to be 2 thirds. So I'm going to use f. And then the point that's at that fraction is x of p. So now I'm going to this is the formula we're going to come up with. We're going to say, okay, this point equals whatever this beginning value is plus the fraction of the distance times that difference. So the first thing I do is I'm going to prove this and I'm going to use segment addition postulate. So I'm going to say x of b plus the distance equals x of e. That's like what we did before. Then I'm going to subtract x of b from both sides using the subtraction property of equality. And I get d equals x of e minus x of b. OK. But I'm really looking for x of p. So I'm going to kind of do my own segment addition postulate again. But I'm going to use this different distance, the fraction times d. And first of all, I'm going to say that's the given. We're setting it up, so I'm doing a fraction of this distance. And I'm always starting from x of b, the beginning. So x of b plus my new distance, the fraction, times d, equals x of p. That's the segment addition postulate. Then I substitute in x of e minus x of b for distance. And that pretty much gives me the equation that I have up here, except that x of p is in front. So some cautions when doing this. Make sure to put, um, to put x of b as the beginning point and x, x of e as the end point. Wherever you're starting from, that's your beginning point. You could start from a higher value and go to a lower value. So I could say I could have started at mile marker 255 and then gone to 243. So x of b would be 255. In cases where you start at a higher value and go to a lower value, that value in parentheses is going to be negative, And that's OK. It'll work out in the formula because of the postulate. Also, x of p should always be between x of b and x of e. If it's not, then there's a math error. If the fraction is less than half, or 0.5, then your answer should be closer to x of b than x of e. And if you have the opportunity, it's wonderful to graph the point. It should make sense when you graph it. So for further reflection, why does it matter if we switch x of b and x of e? Well, if I say one-third of the way from the beginning point, that doesn't mean I'm one-third of the way from the ending point. That's going to be a different fraction. And how can you check your answers for reasonableness? You should make that 
make sure that your partway point is partway between. If it's um, a half or less than half, it needs to be closer to x of b. Also, graphing is a wonderful way to check your answer for reasonableness.